Assalamu alaikum. This is Tamid Akram. In this video, we are going to discuss question number 15 of paper 1, variant 2, May June 2020. A small vessel of volume 3 cubic centimeter contains air at a pressure of 100 kilopascal. The small vessel is connected to a syringe. The piston is fully inserted into the syringe. The piston is moved slowly to the right so that the air in the syringe has a volume of 12 cubic centimeter. The temperature of the air does not change. What is the pressure of the air in the syringe? Okay, from the data that is of volume and pressure and from the fact that the temperature of the air does not change, we get to know that we have to apply here P1 V1 is equal to P2 V2. But we need to be careful because here in this situation there are two vessels. One is a vessel and the second one is a syringe. So in case of putting values for the left hand term we see that this is a vessel and uh, it has a volume of 3 cubic centimeter and pressure is 100 kilopascal. So we will write here 3 into 100. Now the piston is fully inserted into the syringe. So there is no air in the syringe at this time. Now what happens is that piston is moved slowly to the right. When this piston is moved slowly to the right, the air comes into the syringe as well. And there it has a volume of 12 cubic centimeter. But now the air is also in this vessel. The air is in the vessel as well as in the syringe. So we will have to take the volume of both the vessel and the syringe. And the pressure, we have to find pressure of air in the syringe because these two are connected, the pressure will be the same. So we will write here P2 multiplied by 12 cubic centimeter is the volume of the syringe and 3 cubic centimeter is the volume of the small vessel. Now, if we solve this, we get P2 is equal to 300 divided by 15, which is 20 kilopascal. Option A.